I don't have water. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Might as well put a little iodine on there too. Where we can make poo poo. Hey, the service engine light came on. Oh, what could it be this time? Look at this adorable man. What's up all you epic Minecraft imposter moga sus Fortnite Rootscape and Club Penguin pranksters. Today we will be going to Waycho and I'm going to be giving you guys a big update on what's been going on here. I've used this as the water lately because it's a lot easier to use this than all the other things. Kevin's trying to attack me even though the gate's open. But man, do I have an exciting video for you guys today. We got so much stuff done at Waco over the weekend and I filmed a bit of it, but a lot of that footage is just gonna go to the Patreon. Oh, did little baby. Seems like Kevin and Pog Poggers are having a little fight. Poggers, come here, bud. But it is a new day and Kevin is already attacking me. Go ahead and use the all reliable because that's the only thing I can reach right now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You remember this, guys? Anyone remember this? Ooh. 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 Why is he so resilient? It's a, I swear, this thing doesn't even work anymore. Kevin. Ooh. 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 Okay, that's all, that's all you really need to do, guys. Poggers is enjoying the new water here. But that's it, guys. That's not animal abuse. That is self-defense. Kevin is the one abusing me. Okay, good morning, Karen. We are going to go to the place in Waco to keep setting it up today because there is a lot of work to do. I need to get chicken coops set up so that these guys can live there. I need to get the fencing set up so that these guys can live there. Look at him drink. Look at this adorable man drinking so much. Look at that little tongue. Oh. I already let Olive out into her large enclosure, but I have no idea where she is. She's definitely somewhere in here. Oh, look how precious she is. Oh. Okay, just got the chicken set up with some new water. I need to refill that later, but I'm not gonna do that today. Kevin's already trying to attack me. <laughs> Hello, sir. And as you guys can see, this is about it. Morgan is beautiful and big now. The baby's chilling and hopping around. Aaron and Kevin, they respect each other, but Kevin, don't touch him. Don't do it. If you lay a finger on this man, I swear, do not lay a finger on him or me. Obviously, Vinny is doing very well. She's Evan, I swear, if you touch that beautiful little hoppy boy down there, I love this new setup. He really can't do anything, and it doesn't hurt him. See? He's too dumb to kind of just, like, walk under it. Look, he's so angry, and he's too dumb to kind of, like, walk under this thing. But all right, that's it, guys. I'm taking you to Waco. We are going to show you guys the renovation update, and I have a very big surprise for you guys. Come on, buggers. As I said in the last video, this is the new brooder setup, and uh, this is the little duckling that we helped out of the egg in the last video. Oh, she fell on her back. But she can walk just fine. She had a little bit of issues at first, but then I kind of helped correct them. See, she's running around just fine. These guys are having time of their lives in here. I've been so busy with the renovations that I haven't had time to just sit in here and read to them like I normally do. But I will soon. Baby Kevin and baby Karen are doing very well. Go ahead and let them outside in a little bit. But first, we need to go to Waco. All these chicks are totally grown up, and they're outgrowing their brooder here. So pretty soon, they're going to go outside in a different enclosure, and then they're going to be going to Waco as well. But that's it. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to go to Waco. Goodbye, Kevin. So, spoiler alert, I'm bringing Pog to the house, and we got a lot of land cleared in the back. Thanks to our good friends, Riley and Anthony. And we we're pretty soon gonna get the fencing up. This is the first time Poggers has seen the house since we put any insulation in. And it's gonna be the first time that Poggers has seen the land since we cleared it. I'm also gonna go somewhere and get a nice chainsaw because we really need that because we actually have a lot more woods than I thought we did. Which I'm very thankful for because now we can have a wooded pig biome on the farm. One thing I've learned from watching and reading Joel Salad and stuff is that uh, it's really, really great to have pigs in a wooded area. You can clear out the land and it really helps the trees to flourish. Well, nothing like being in standstill traffic in the middle of the city. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are here at the Bokies. Today, we're going to get some gas and perhaps a snack. Maybe poachers can go outside and have a little poo. Yeah. AC still doesn't work, but that's okay because it's only 97 degrees. This is absolutely absurd. There is not a single parking space here in this massive hey, little poop station for Pogman. All right, guys, this is Bucky's. It's a massive giant gas station here in Texas, and they have like 300 different things here. But inside, it's basically a grocery store. It must be tough to be a woman. This is just the line for the bathroom. Also, COVID doesn't exist here. This is all just jerky. 
Look at all this jerky. Bucky's also has the best merch line of any gas station I've ever seen. They even sell deer feeder, all kinds of honey equipment, and this bow fishing arrow for some reason. Yeah, but that's about it though, guys. That's Bucky's. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh. Before you all get triggered and freak out, yeah, I've already had every vaccine known to man, even those that don't have anything to do with COVID. I'll still say though, guys, that was really kind of surreal to see that many people not wearing masks. That is the largest crowd I have seen, even in Texas. Most people not wearing masks and since before COVID. Pretty base. Based and vaccine pilled Texas? Well, hey, the service engine light came on. Oh, what could it be this time? I'm gonna be real with y'all. I need to get a new vehicle. And it's great for keeping it local, for picking up animals and using it as a rescue vehicle. But this thing is not made for driving from Austin to Waco over and over and over. Also, it's only June and there's no AC and it's 98 degrees here. All right. Right, guys here's your tour that's right we got a shower ever heard of it you guys are always saying oh uncle ben you're so poor you don't even have water oh really i don't have water <laughs> then what's that what uncle ben how'd you get all that water i sold stock buy high sell low all right guys this is the house so far it looks pretty neat i got this stuff at dirt cheap patreon saw that video i think and if they didn't i'm sorry uh, we got this uh little boy here for <coughs> i'm gonna keep that we got this little boy here for 75 bucks this little boy here this is 2.99 that's like the estimated value it's what it was at lowe's but dirt cheap 119 dollars. so we also got this pipe here we took out the cast iron we actually just had the PVC lying around. I was thinking about wiping this off and cleaning it, but it's all going to be covered by this stuff anyway. That's right. We got mold guard sheetrock. Ever heard of it? Pretty soon we're going to get uh, this pipe over here brought into the sewer system. There's really nothing to show in here. This is just we're, we're doing a little bit of demo work in here and taking the walls down, doing the same stuff. But this takes priority because we need to have one room that's insulated where we can make a poop. Thank you, Kat, for this lovely mosquito net. It is very epic. And yeah, I got a fridge ever heard of it hungry for apples this is a cast iron pipe that we took out and replaced with the nice pvc one up there you see it sticking out of the roof and that's my neighbor's abandoned crack house pretty soon we're gonna get that forklift back here and we are going to throw away all of this good stuff and i'm getting another dumpster oh uncle ben went on a little splurge he treated himself and got a little 40 cubic yard dumpster it's gonna be coming in a few days 90 percent of this stuff was donated but there's also trash tank ran over that thing with his car and here's la piece de resistance that's right i got a dog ever heard of him that's right Corey left his kombucha here and didn't drink any of it ever heard of it we got all of these concrete bags and then that is going to be perfect for uh digging these poles in the ground we got a few of the holes set we just need to wait till next weekend get a few more thank you so much anthony and riley you guys are amazing we love you these are all eight foot pipes that we got donated and these are perfect for making six foot fencing and these are all 10 foot pipes and we got about 28 to 30 of these and that's perfect we've already set this one in the ground i'm thinking about making this whole at least this whole small area eight foot fencing which we can legally do in the city with the zoning laws that are right here and i am going to leave a gap here of space between uh, this fencing and the boundary line here and eventually i may fortify this fencing or i'm going to clear out a lot of this because we do also have this lot to the lot to the right here guys there's a nice another little tire if any of you guys wants it please take it and there's a foxhole right off the bat we already know that we have some predators here i saw a couple foxholes or maybe coyote dens over in the corner while we were getting these holes dug we also got this stuff moved over here and if you look closely there's all kinds of little dead critters in there. So I'm thinking we take the tires and dump them in the ocean. We take all this oil and we dump it in the lake nearby. Leave a like if you want us to dump it in the lake. Leave a comment if you want us to dump it in the ocean. That's right, guys. Drink code blue. It actually tastes like bread and urine. Look at this beautiful man. Look how derpy he is. This is why we got this place, though. Look at how Pappy Poggers is with just this stupid little bit of grass. He's a good man. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be wearing Crocs around here. I have to paint a little smiley face on this wood. <laughs> Leave a like for that. Leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to buy the baby plushie. Oh, it's a good thing. This is an animal rescue. It's slash prospective wildlife rehab. And we have every uh, antiseptic known to man. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that this isn't really an OSHA compliant workplace. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this uh, isopropyl alcohol to wash it off. See, now I'm teaching you guys how to dress a wound today. Okay, you know, I'm going to wipe it off with this little guy. Might as well put a little iodine on there too. You can never be too careful with that iodine. Okay, if I get tetanus, then that means that God wanted
wanted me to. Up leaking a little bit there. I guess the last thing I'll show you guys about this place is we're putting in these two by sixes just to kind of stabilize the flooring here underneath these joists because they're very, very rotted. Replacing these joists is something that I have planned for another day, but that's going to be a lot later. If you guys know anyone in the Central Texas area that can get us a real uh, four by six, Please let me know because this one will eventually need to be replaced. But for now, it doesn't. This is going to have to be connected to the drain there. So the poopies go in that hole. I learned the vapors go up through here and they go up on above the roof. And I just murdered all those wasps and all those wasps. Those are mud daubers and we really want mud daubers because I forget what they kill, but they kill things that we don't like. But look at this, guys. Okay, so we ran the codes on the bus and it's probably just the air filter. Fingers crossed. So I might be able to make it home tonight. Good evening, fellow truckers. <laughs> Just a fellow man on the road. Ah, my brethren. Ah.